Alright mga ka-sports, we're back ngayon. Coach Dindo, or Dindo na lang. Oh, yan. Dindo, tuturo mo sa amin ngayon sa ating mga ka-sports, of course. Uh, very rampant kasi ngayon yung mga knife threat, lalo na sa mga hali ngayon. Na nandito sa Pilipinas, di ba? Anywhere in the world. Pero paano nga ba yung effective way na didepensahan mo yung knife threat? Okay, so yung first is yung knife threat, yung medium distance. Okay. So yung attacking hand, nandito lang, hindi hindi pa malapit sa katawan. Mm -hmm. Pero yung, yung, yung knife niya behind ng hand ko. Alright. Okay. Let's go. Go. First movement ko, yung very crucial yung movement ng kamay. Mm -hmm. Dapat siya totally vertical. Kasi the moment na mag-ganyan ako, two behaviors, sasaksakin ako, or i-re-recoil mo yung, yung, yung knife. Yes. Okay. So, ang first movement ko, yung near hand, eh, i-deflect ko, i-chat-chop ko using yung pinky side na bony part. Okay. Yung part ng arm niya. Okay. Para, para yung, yung line of attack ma-deflect yes. away from my body. Uh -huh. So, uh, I, 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 I punch. Uh, diagonally uh, sideways. Mm -hmm. So, pag I, as I punch, wala na yung knife sa akin, then I'll be doing a side kick. Sa okay. knee. knee. And it can be sa, sa, sa body, look around for another problem. In Krav Maga, I came in Krav Maga, we always assume yung attacker natin as a friend. Mm -hmm. Pag wala nang problem, then run away. Okay. Alright. So, isa yun sa mga... Isa yun sa yung, yung second timeline. Mm -hmm. Sa ICAM kasi may timeline eh. Yes. Uh -huh. So yun yung, yung papunta pa lang sa'yo mm -hmm. uh, na threat. Alright. Okay, ayan mga ka-sports, sample pa lang po yan ang tinuturo sa atin ni Dindo. Mamaya, marami po kayong matututunan. Sports 37, return. Another combat sport that will surely inculcate discipline in our bodies. Challenge mind and body with the dynamic sport of Krav Maga. Among the wide selection of mixed martial arts, one of the most appealing for combat sports enthusiasts is the Israeli art of self-defense called Krav Maga. Krav Maga, it, it's a Hebrew word which means contact combat. It's from Israel, um, originally from the, um, the IDF. So it's uh, still being used by, by the IDF, Israeli Defense Forces, and all of law enforcement and military in Israel. Uh, almost all of Europe, they use it, and also the United States. In our region, um, Hong Kong SWAT, Japan SWAT, um, Macau Security, um, they use Krav Maga. So, Krav Maga is uh, basically um, a self-defense system um, dealing with all kinds of threats um, from, from hand to hand, somebody punching you, from somebody kicking you, um, knives, um, guns, sticks, um, Basically, all, all kinds of uh, threats and attacks. Devised by Israeli militaries in 1948, more and more martial arts fans around the world are actively practicing Krav Maga. Some of my friends from high school uh, did Krav Maga in San Juan before, and I found out about it um, on the internet. I was looking for a self-defense thing um, to learn, because you know I'm Asian, and I might as well learn a martial art, right? And when I heard about IKMF and Krav Maga, um, I, thought, I, I thought it was one of the more practical martial arts. I find Krav Maga really practical in terms of um, self-defense, like it's really applicable in the streets. Um, and I actually got into this um, because of my brother. Uh, he was really very interested, you know, just watching action movies. So, and I was like, hey, you know, I'm a woman, and it's if, if you need that, then I need it all the more because we're, we're we're like the you know the more fragile gender. <laughs> I attended a free seminar by Krav Maga, and since then, I started training with them regularly. It's actually easy to learn, and it's very effective. Krav Maga may be considered an extreme form of martial art. 
but it's also considered one of the most practical self-defense systems. The concept of Krav Maga is it uses the natural movement of a, of a human being, so it's, it's very easy to learn. In um, regular training, we use uh, um, street clothes or any comfortable clothes. We don't use gi. We have no katas. The system is is um, uh, geared towards a realistic uh, fighting street scenarios. At first, I was a bit. It was a bit hard to get into. Um, I hadn't done anything with like stress drills before, so trying to get into that was really tiring. And it's really taught me discipline as well, and like knowing that even if you have techniques, it's that whole um, when to use it that's also important. Krav Maga actually uh, is uh, one of the most uh, practical and the most um, easy to learn self-defense system. Nowadays. You don't need to be really uh, physically fit. And it was designed for all uh, sizes, all ages, of, um, men, women, children. So I would uh, say that uh, it's one of the most interesting things to learn for self-defense. That's why anyone can practice Krav Maga. And the good thing about IKMF Krav Maga is anybody can train um, there's no gender separation. Uh, we have lots of girls uh, who are enrolled. Uh, kids, uh, regular training kids from 10 years old and above can train. Uh, during summer, we had uh, uh, IKMF Krav Maga for kids. The, the movements are very easy. They don't need to kick high. You don't need to be agile. You don't need to be flexible, although those are factors. Uh, strength is a factor, but uh, we always assume in IKMF Krav Maga that you're your uh, attacker or your assailant is much bigger than you, stronger than you. So the movements are very quick, very easy. Uh, so anybody can learn. Krav Maga is not just an intense form of combat sport. It's also a venue to improve one's physical and mental health. The number one benefit is uh, you, you, you will learn how to defend yourself, property, your loved ones. Uh, secondly, is, uh, you'll be having more confidence um, uh, in the streets, in your workplace, um, in your home. You know how to defend. Um, and also, it's a great exercise. Cardio, we have power exercises. It's an exercise, so I get to work out regularly. Especially for me, I have a heart condition. So. My heart pumps well now. I don't have the symptoms of my heart condition anymore because of Krav Maga. The benefits of taking Krav Maga, for one, I feel physically fitter. Uh, definitely, it's a real workout. But it's also very practical. Uh, I live alone. I, I commute or I drive alone at night. And so I feel safer knowing that if in the unfortunate instance that something happens to me, I know what to do, I can defend myself, and I won't be as afraid. When I walk alone at night, I tend to look around, I take care of my belongings. Um, it's also, it also helps with my discipline. When you go to training and they really tire you out because they want you to perform well under stress. So we have final drills where they really push you to the limit and you have to keep fighting. Because in real life, if you're being attacked, even if you're tired or if you're sleepy, you have to fight back. To all the women out there, you know, uh, I invite you to train Krav Maga. It's very practical. It's going to help you, um, you know, improve your confidence in the streets. And um, you know, they're very basic. Anyone can do it. So if, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so go ahead, join came of Krav Maga, and you'll have fun and you'll learn new things as well. Please train came of Krav Maga. Everybody, everyone has a right to defend yourself, your friends, your property. It's nice to learn self-defense when time comes that we need um, to defend ourselves. So please, uh, I'm inviting everybody to train IKMF Krav Maga with the International Krav Maga Federation. Please contact us at our website www.kravmaga-ikmf.ph. You can call us or text us with 0917 894 
8. We have a fan page in Facebook, uh, International Club Maga Federation Philippines. For more exciting sports action, stay tuned on Sports 37.